Hello everyone, I'm Ines Goger and welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video you will see how to paint this fluffy cat with blue eyes. First I use the masking marker and I draw the whiskers. Why I use the masking marker? Uh, it's easier, you don't need the brush. Uh, of course you can use also acrylic or uh, gouache, but I really like white of paper. Now you can see that I wetted the paper because I paint first, I paint wet on wet and then on the end I paint wet on dry. Uh, now I use uh, burnt umber and first I paint with bigger brush. So I just add the color on uh, right places, but first I don't paint very accurately. So first with bigger brush and then now you can see that I used a thinner brush just for moving the color so it's easier to first use the bigger brush and then thinner brush and it's easier to paint this nice soft fluffy hair join me on patreon if you want to learn more in watercolor if you like this video and you would like to learn more about painting this cat, please join me on Patreon and every month you will get three new voiceover videos in real time. Now you can see that I already painted this face. So first, of course, wet on wet and I used neutral tint color. Uh, first I paint very bright with very bright color and then I paint uh, with darker colors. Also with neutral tint and little beans gray, I paint this uh, white fur under uh, under the chin on neck so um, you need to add the colors also on the white fur so it's not completely white if you leave it white then it will look like flat so you need to add shadows and then you can see this volume so it looks more 3D. Then I decide to paint uh, with darker colors. So you can see that I used uh, sepia here. And first I didn't paint very accurately so just adding the color uh, left and right and around uh, the eyes. And now when I added this color, now I just move the color in right direction. So be careful in which direction you're painting. So I am now I'm painting this fluffy soft hair. So just moving the color. So the color is still wet. Now I used also just a little uh, burnt umber to blend this uh, sepia and burnt umber so the color is still wet and I can now move the color now I am painting also the long fluffy fur in here so first I am painting with darker color and then I will move the color to paint this fluffy hair also everything with thinner brush because it's easier. So now you can see that I just wash my brush and move the color. So just wash. I didn't have any color on the brush so just washed my brush and then move the color. Now it's time for chin. 
Also here I need to add the shadows. So on the left and on the right side I add neutral tint and also under the chin. And with this I get this 3D look. Now I just wash my brush and blend the color. So I really like the soft look when I'm painting the fur. I don't want to paint very sharp. First I paint the nose and then the eyes. Uh, here I used Scarlet Lake and I paint very gently. Now it's time for the eyes. For the eyes I used Peacock Blue. It's really, really nice blue color. So first I paint everything with the same tone and then I am lifting up some part of the eyes. So I want to add this light reflection. Also on a reference photo you can see the light area, the lighter area on eyes. Now I paint around the iris with a dark color. Here I used indigo and beans grey. Now blending. And now I painted the pupil also with beans grey and indigo. First I paint wet on dry and now I'm blending the color around the pupil so I want to have just a little blending so I don't want to have sharp edges also in the eye. Now I'm adding some markings on iris. Okay, now you can see that the cat is already uh, finished. So I remove the masking fluid. You can use your finger or you can use the rubber. Uh, if you think that this uh, whiskers is too white, you can paint with a bright color again over this whiskers. I hope you like it, this video. If you like to learn more about this video, please join me on Patreon. Bye!